This is lesson 93 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson count backwards with a for loop. A for loop can also count backwards so long as we can define the right conditions. In order to count backwards by two, we'll need to change our initialization, condition, and final expression. We'll start at i it's initialized to 10 and loop will and loop while i is greater than 0 will decrement i by 2 each loop with i minus equals 2 and here they show us var our array starts off as an empty array and then we initialize i to 10 in our for loop and it checks if 10 is greater than 0 continue looping and we decrement i by 2 each time through the loop. So it will start at 10 and end at 2. Our array will now contain 10, 8, 4, or 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Let's change our initialization and final expression so we could count backward by 2 by odd numbers. Instructions push the odd number from 9 through 1 to my array using a for loop. Okay, so we're going backwards from 9 to 1, and here they set it up for us. We just got to go under here and do our for loop. We're initializing i to 9, and as long as i is greater than 0, we want to decrement i by 2. And this is what we want to happen each time it goes through the loop. We want to push we want to push i, whatever i is during that loop. So what this is doing is it's starting at 9, and 9 is greater than 0, so it's first going to put push 9 into my array which will contain 9 and it will go through the loop again decrement by 2 so then 7 i is 7 in the loop i or 7 is greater than 0 so it pushes 7 to our array and it just continues doing it until it does 1 and that should be it for this lesson if we run test we can see here it printed to the console 9753 and one. And that is it for this lesson.